This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 11, verses 45 to 56. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. That was a turning point for many of the Jews who were with Mary. They saw what Jesus did and believed in him. But some went back to the Pharisees and told on Jesus. The high priests and Pharisees called a meeting of the Jewish ruling body. "What do we do now?" they asked. "This man keeps on doing things creating God signs. If we let him go on, Pretty soon everyone will be believing in him and the Romans will come and remove what little power and privilege we still have. Then one of them, it was Caiaphas, the designated chief priest that year, spoke up. Don't you know anything? Can't you see that it's to our advantage that one man dies for the people rather than the whole nation be destroyed? He didn't say this of his own accord. But as chief priest that year, he unwittingly prophesied that Jesus was about to die sacrificially for the nation, and not only for the nation, but so that all God's exile scattered children might be gathered together into one people. From that day on, they plotted to kill him. So Jesus no longer went out in public among the Jews. He withdrew into the country bordering the desert to a town called Ephraim. and secluded himself there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover was coming up. Crowds of people were making their way from the country up to Jerusalem to get themselves ready for the feast. They were curious about Jesus. There was a lot of talk of him among those standing in the temple. What do you think? Do you think he'll show up at the feast or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St John chapter 11 verses 45 to 56 We are now on the threshold of the Holy Week and today's gospel sets the stage for the coming events The storm clouds gather the gospel narrative today picks up the events that followed immediately after the restoration of Lazarus to life Some of them began to believe in Jesus others report him to the Jewish authorities An official meeting at the highest level takes place and a full-fledged decision is made It is tragic and paradoxical that the final reason for the decision to put him to death is because Jesus brought a man back to life By raising Lazarus to life, Jesus has sealed his death sentence. It is better for you that one man dies for the sake of the people than that the whole nation is destroyed. Caiaphas the high priest Caiaphas the high priest did not know the God of Jesus. His God was the devil, a murderer from the beginning, and he passes the judgment. It is better that one man dies. Autocratic and oppressive regimes have followed Caiaphas cold-blooded pragmatism across the centuries. Their so-called national interests so often overrides the right to life of ordinary people. Even in our times, nationalistic arguments are used to justify immoral procedures, minority suppression, preemptive military strikes and torture the members of the sanhedrin were more concerned about their power base than any national interest they deliberately rejected jesus's message of love as the only way to life and freedom caiaphas succeeded in convincing the sanhedrin that if the ordinary people followed jesus there could be riots in the society and the romans would come and destroy them and their temple they opted to kill the prince of peace to avoid riots the raising of lazarus from death to life finally led to the killing of jesus jesus in his free will 
determined the hour of grace. He chose the feast of the Passover for the journey to his life-giving death and freedom because the Israelites had taken their first steps towards freedom with the original Passover. During the first Passover, lambs were killed and their blood was sprinkled on the doorsteps of the Israelites. Thus, they were saved from the sword of the angel of destruction. In the new Passover of Jesus, a new liberation begins. The actual liberation would no longer be by the blood of lambs, but by the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God. Tomorrow on Palm Sunday, we enter into the Holy Week. Let us prepare ourselves to walk with Jesus to witness His passion, death and resurrection.